Hello friends, welcome back to another session of C programming. In today's class, I'll be talking about pointer arithmetic in C. Uh, we can perform arithmetic operations on the pointers uh, like uh, increment operation, decrement operation, addition with a constant integer, subtraction and comparison. All these are all these operations are possible. However, as we know that pointer contains the address, the result of an arithmetic operation performed on the pointers will also be a pointer. These are all the legal operations on pointers. And the illegal operations will be addition of two pointer variables, multiplication, division, modulo, and bitwise operations like AND, OR, XOR, and NOT, negation. All these operations are not possible. Those are all illegal operations. So the reason why we cannot add two pointer variables or multiply two pointer variables or division of two pointer variables is illegal is because the addition operation or multiplication or division can result in a very huge address value, which can be beyond the addresses, which could be an illegal address. So that's the reason addition, multiplication, division, modulus and bitwise operations are not possible on the pointer variables. So I'll show each and every operation on the pointers, legal operations, one after the other, with practical example in C. So the first operation that I'm going to show you is pointer address increment. So here, when you increment, you'll be getting the immediate next address. It's not like the normal variable increment. In the normal variable increment, it is incremented by one. But since we are incrementing the pointer address variable, so it is incremented by the size of the data type. So if it is a 32-bit operating system, then for integer, the size of the data type is 2 bytes. And if it is on a 64 OS, then it will be uh, the size of the data type for integer will be 4 bytes. So it will be incremented by 4 or it will be incremented by 2 depending on the bit of the OS. So this is how the increment operation is performed on the pointer address. So we need to be very careful to understand whether we want to perform arithmetics on the pointer address variable or we want to perform arithmetic operations on the value that is extracted from the address stored in the pointer. So in this session, I'm going to discuss about pointer address arithmetics. So we'll be performing the arithmetic operation on the address variable. So in this program, I'm going to show you pointer, pointer address, pointer address increment operation. Okay, right. So here in I'll be taking a variable. So I'll say int n is equal to some 50. So I'll be taking a pointer variable. So pointer variable star p is equal to and n. So now I have put the address of n and pointer p. So let me write a printf statement to show you the address of p and then we'll increment it. So address that is stored at pointer variable p. So the value that is stored in p is percentage p. So we'll say p is equal to percentage p. And what is this? This is nothing but p. Okay, fine. So if I execute this program, so we'll be able to see the address of a P. So this is the address that is stored at P, which is nothing but the address of N variable. So now we'll increment. So I'll be saying P plus plus. Okay, so I just incremented the value of P. So the value that is stored at P is incremented now. So P plus plus will give you the next address, okay, uh, which is in terms of uh, the size of the data type. So address after increment, so I'll say address after increment okay, of uh, P is equal to percentage P. So let me run this program and show you. So this is the address which is stored at uh, 6C and after increment, which has become 70. Okay, so, um, so 4 bytes, it has been incremented by 4 bytes. You can also write, rather than writing P++, you can also write P is equal to P plus 1 also. Okay, so you can even write it this way. Um, so this also again will result into the, in the same one. Okay, so which is C. And then it is incremented by 4 uh, bytes and now it has become F0. Right. You can 
can also write um, p uh, plus plus or you can write p is equal to p plus one. So both the notations are same. So say for example, you want to perform the decrement operation. So let me show you how to perform the decrement operation on the same uh, variable. Okay, so the decrement operation. So to do the decrement operation, address decrement, you can write p is equal to p minus one. So let me run this and show you. So this is the original address and now it has become, uh, it has decremented by four bytes. In the same way, rather than writing p uh, is equal to p minus one, I can still say p minus minus. Okay, so this also will work like decrementing the address operator. So it is 5C, now it has become 58. Okay, so decremented by four bytes. So uh, I need to change here also. Okay, fine, decrement of P. So uh, now it will be fine. Okay, so this is these both are the increment and decrement operations on the uh, variable address. Address increments and decrements by the size of the uh, bits of the OS. Okay, fine. So now we will see how to increment, uh, um, how increment operation, address increment operation is used to traverse an array. So pointer uh, increment operation, so I will say increment operation which is used to uh, traverse an array. So let me take an array over here. So n, okay, so n of uh, 5 is equal to, so I am doing uh, 5 elements here, so which is 1, 2, 3, four and five. Okay, fine. So I said the uh, P star P is equal to N. So you don't need to give an ampersand here because it's an array. Okay, so star P is equal to N. So now you try to traverse the array um, by using this uh, pointer arithmetic, which is increment operation. So I'll take uh, for I is equal to zero and I is less than five and uh, I plus plus. So we'll traverse this so write a printf statement to traverse through each and every element of the array. So I'm giving it. So let me show you. Let me take i also here. The, uh, I variable, um, iterating variable i. Let me declare that. So what should I give here? So I need to give a star. Star is considered to be value at or in direction of the referencing operator. So which will extract the value that is uh, stored at the address uh, which is in p. So star of then I'm giving P and then an increment operation star P plus plus. So this uh, P plus plus has to be put in uh, brackets uh, because I'm giving more priority to plus plus over star. So um, so let me actually uh, run this and show you the output. So when you run this uh, program, you can see each and every element in the array is traversed and put on the screen. So increment operator can be used to um, traverse an array. So rather than putting uh, P plus plus, I can also say P plus um, I. Okay, so I keeps changing. So at first it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I can also uh, increment it in this way. Okay, so increment operator can be used uh, to increment the address by the size of the data type. So it's not like the normal variable which is incremented by 1. Here, pointer uh, address will be incremented by the size of the data type. Not only that, we also can use the increment operator to traverse through the array. So now we will see how to do addition operation. Uh, so here the point to remember is we can't add two pointer addresses together, but we can perform addition of a pointer variable with a constant integer. So I can say p plus 1 or p plus 2, p plus 3, all that is possible, which I already have shown you with the array example previously. We can also use this pointer arithmetic to manipulate the data that is stored in a particular array location. So I'll show you a program for it. So I said a of 5 is equal to, so say I have uh, these numbers uh, in the array. So now we'll use the pointer to actually do the manipulation. So I said star p is equal to a. Now we'll use the star p plus 2. So I want to change the value which is stored at p plus 2. I want to change this value. Okay, so 3, I'll be changing 3 to 100. So we'll be changing 3 to 100. Okay, so let us do that. Uh, so by using the pointer arithmetic, we can actually do that. Uh, here in
So star of p plus two is equal to. So I'm making it as hundred. Okay. So let me print that and show it to you. Contain print uh, print there. And then percentage d and percentage d is nothing but a of two. Okay. So I'm saying a of two. So when I print that, you will see I will be getting hundred. So you can see I got hundred. Okay. So you can even turn the loop and see whether the uh, the values uh, have been changed or not. Um, so I'm turning the new loop. So printer now uh, percentage d slash d comma then star p plus i. Okay. So star p plus. So here uh, star p plus i is used to navigate through the traverse through the elements one after the other. So this uh, automatic is possible and manipulation is also possible. So you can see, um, I didn't give a new line here. Okay. Okay. So we got one, two, hundred, four, and five. You can simply say p is equal to p plus three. So now I have uh, made p point to the third address. Okay, so zero, one, two, and the three. So now p is pointing to the fourth element. So if you want to print what is there at the p, I will say percentage b, and then you can simply say star p. Okay, so what is there at uh, p? So, so p is pointing to p plus three, right? So when I print, you will be able to see four over here. So p has now moved its address from the base address to the uh, fourth location. So you can see that the value of the, this particular address is this. So if I print it before performing the arithmetic operation on the address, so it will I'll be getting one only. But now since I moved the pointer to the fourth location, I'll be getting four. So you can see in the output. So first I got a one and then I got four because I changed the address of the P. Okay, so in this way addition can be used to traverse through the array as well as we can also change the address that is uh, stored at the P. But remember that we can't add two pointers together as I gave you the answer that addition, subtraction, multiplication all can lead to illegal addresses. So that's why we don't perform addition, multiplication, division, modulo all the bitwise operations, negation, nothing is possible on the pointer. But you can add a constant integer to a pointer address. So this is regarding the addition. So now we will see subtraction. What is subtraction operation? So subtraction operation will give an integer value. So the integer value will be the difference between the elements difference between the two addresses. Uh, so we'll see that. Say for example, so this is the array. So I say star p is equal to zero. So it means that p is pointing to the first element in the array. So p is pointing to to the first element in the array. So if you just take a look that uh, this first p is pointing to this particular element. Now we'll take a q and we'll make the q point to the last element. Okay. So let us do that. So now I'll take one more uh, pointer variable, which is Q. Okay, so to show the subtraction, I require one more pointer variable, which is Q. So by using the formula, I'll be pointing P, uh, Q to the last element of the array. So what's the formula? So to do that, uh, so I require base address. So the base address uh, less, okay, so the index number, okay into the size of the data type. Okay, so size of the data type. So it's very simple to do that. So let me show you how I perform that. I simply say Q is equal to, so I'll say Q is equal to, which is P plus four. Okay, so P plus four will point it to the last element in the array. So to show that, let me print the values of P and Q. P is equal to percentage D and then I'll give a tag and then say Q is equal to percentage D. Uh, so let me give a new line here. So what is the uh, percentage D? P is nothing but star P. So I'm just showing you the values that P and Q are pointing. So when I run this, okay, so you'll be able to see P is at the first location and Q is at the last location. 
So now let me perform the subtraction between the addresses. So print the statement. So I am saying percentage LD. So this subtraction operation will give the uh, elements that both the pointers are apart. Okay, so the difference between these two will be given. So percentage U and I am saying P minus K. Okay, so P minus K. Let us see what is the answer. So the answer is minus 4. The difference between the number of elements, the count of elements between these two is 4. Okay, so I have 1, 2, 3 and 4. So P and Q are 4 elements apart from each other. So this is subtraction operation which can be performed on the addresses. Now we will see the last operation which is legal operation which is comparison operation. So come comparison operation okay fine so for this let me take uh, two variables um, so I am taking a is equal to 20 and then b is equal to 40 okay so I am taking the address and then p is equal to and a um, comma and then saying star so we have star q right so star q is equal to and b okay right so we need to compare the addresses. So now we have the addresses. So let me print the addresses and show you. Uh, so percentage P is equal to percentage B. Okay, so to print the address, we need to use percentage P, which will, which will print the address in which will print the address in hex format, hexadecimal mm -hmm. format. So P is equal to percentage P. So these are the addresses. So I'll say I'll take off the star and all that. So let me take off this line too. So first we'll see the addresses. So these are both the addresses. Okay, so P is given 40 and uh, Q is given at 44, which is four bytes apart. Uh, this is 64 bit OS. So that's why this is uh, 40 and this is 44. So now let us uh, compare these two addresses and see the output. So uh, to compare, we use the relational operations greater than, less than, and all that. We need if condition. So I'm saying if P is greater than Q. So since uh, by the output that we have seen, P's address is before Q, so which is 40 and Q is 44. So uh, in this case, like uh, Q is greater. So I'm saying P is greater, but it might not be true all the time. So else. Uh, print a statement so I'm saying uh, Q is uh, great. Okay, so uh, when I run this, okay, so this is output we got. Uh, and since the address of Q is greater than Q, so we got an output that Q is greater. So this is how we can do the comparison operation on the addresses. So to summarize, uh, so we have the legal operations uh, which are increment to decrement and then subtraction and then addition of the address with the constant integer and then we have uh, comparison operations which are the legal operations. So I hope finding the resonance is clear to you. So thank you for watching.